All right, so there's 100,000 great videos out on YouTube on how to do the perfect flat wash. I'm not gonna go over that today. I wanna go over the absolute basics, what I think is essential. From there, I'm going to go to more advanced techniques on adding color and going from one color to white. From there, after, I'm going to show you how to fix mistakes, because that's a lot of the time in watercolor painting is paint, something happens, and you kind of just fix mistakes as you go. So we're going to get into that as well. All right, I'm gonna put the water here so we can see it, and I want you to pay attention to how much water I'm getting off of the brush each time I come by. I'm gonna do a few washes. I'm going to do a flat wash, which is going from pigment onto the paper. Now, if you see water pooling up, I'll get more on here. When it dries, you're gonna get a darker outline of whatever color you have there. So if you don't want that outline, you just need to get your brush dried off. And you're gonna pull up some of that paint before it dries. There, you won't get that outline second wash I'm going to show you is going to be paint. I'll get a little more so it's the same color. I'm going to clean up my brush. I need the brush now drier than the paint that's on here or all the water is going to spill back into it. I'm going to clean again. I need the brush dry again. There, and one more time. I can play around a little bit if the brush is dry enough. This is still wet all the way through. As soon as you don't see the sheen, it gets leathery. Yeah, I'll let it dry. You can kind of mix that in there if you need to. Dry. There. If I were doing this as a big wash, I would do this in many layers. And for the third thing I'm going to show you is going from one color using the exact same technique. I'm going to clean my brush. Again, if there's more pigment in the brush now, if there's more water than there is on the paper, it's going to flow into there. We don't want that, so we want it fairly dry. So there, we can change colors. We'll do it one more time. So those are your three main washes that you'll see in watercolor. One is completely flat, the other is going to white, and the third one, it's going to be different colors here. I'm going to show you if you're going to do one walkthrough with the red, how it's going to look. So the same as this, except one time through, so I'm going to get it wet. I want lots of pigment. I'm gonna clean the brush. I quite a bit of water. And I'm gonna pull that down. And that's gonna give that a soft edge. This water here, 
I'm gonna soak that up because that's gonna run back in. Right now, if we get a drop of water in here, it's gonna be what's called a bloom. We can fix that bloom if as soon as we see it, we get our brush, we get as much paint off as we can, and we need to soak up that excess water. Then again from here, we can go over this entire area, try to fix that. we go. If we wanted a white, I would have a clean thing, bucket of water here. And we'd just continue on going down that way. There's another way we can get to this soft edge. We have a line here. What we do is we get this brush really, really dry. And we slowly go up to it. So it's going to give us that soft edge. So that can give us a, a smaller soft edge and we can play with it as much or as little as we want. I can keep working this and I can pull it back so it's less. Or if I bring this out and I don't clean the brush, I can make it longer. There's one more way we can go over all these washes, and that's called wet on wet. And that would be taking our clean water, wetting the area down, and then laying the pigment. So we don't want huge pools of water. If you see the water pooling up, you can get a paper towel or something off your brush and just soak some of that up because you don't want it pooling because it takes a long time to dry or if you have different colors the colors are going to pool together. So a flat wash would then just be adding it to the water, mixing it around. Changing colors. This would be good for skies, wet down the entire sky. Adding a bit of color. Clean, clean brush. Fade it into the back. Again, you need to watch out on this. If there's more water on this side, it's going to bloom out. And if you start to see crazy color going on, you go over it with a fairly dry brush, a damp brush, and just try to work that out. And the last one will be this guy. We'll do again. Uh, we'll go right here with him. If you see puddles in the water, or if I were to tip this, none of this water would be pooling up along the sides. You don't want that much water going on. I'm going to take the red. My wet on wet purple. and then into green. And those colors will blend a little bit more as they go. If there's too much water on, I'll just show you down here. I'll use this so we can see it. You're gonna have a hard time keeping them all separate. As that dries, it's going to mix all the way together.